I'm going to show you how to get inside of your GitHub Action um, and debug it. Now this works with hosted and self-hosted runners, which makes it really useful both for getting a shell when you want to kind of start a new CI project and you're not really sure how the GitHub Action is going to work with a hosted runner, you can get in and explore or if you're having trouble and you've got long end-to-end -end tests that keep breaking, wasting your time, you can get in there and run a few commands. So it all starts with um, with GitHub. What I have here is um, some step that I created that installs SSH onto the server, locks down password login, and takes the SSH keys from your GitHub profile and injects them into the authorized users file. Next, we connect to a secure gateway, SSH gateway. This is something that is hosted, that I've built. And this is what differentiates this from every other option out there, Teammate, Cloudflare, Ingrock, whatever, Tailscale, you name it. Um, it makes it super easy. And I'll show you a bit of magic with this later. And then this is a good way of just blocking until we're done. That is to set up a TMUX session um, and then when you exit that, that tells the build to stop. So I won't go on for too much longer. Let's actually just kick this off. So if I was just to edit this file, maybe you would have a trigger on that um, that you can dispatch this with. And we head over to our Actions tab. We're going to see a build has started. Now in the top part of the screen, I'm also doing a, a watch of a curl statement that's going to show us when the session starts up. Now this is quite quick to set up SSH. I think it might already be on the server. So it's really just configuring it. We're then connecting in and we've got our command. So let's type that in. I am now inside of the runner and you can see that if we uh, do something like docker images there's a number of images that the githubs team has pre-cached in here so if you're running out of space on your runners you might want to docker system prune those let's try and run a container with docker so we sort of been to latest i think was one of the ones that's already there uh, maybe not um, but here we are we're now in a container with Docker, we can do what we want, what we need to do. Um, what else can we do? We can have a look at free memory, the free in human readable format. Um, we could take a look at the disks. Now, that seems like we've got quite a lot of space left over. And so really you can do whatever you want at this stage. We've just SSH'd in, we can copy files up and down, we can debug. Um, I'm going to run the exit command, which is now going to release that. And you can see the connection is gone and we're all done. Now I want to show you an even cooler demo, um, which is basically very much the same. It's exactly the same GitHub action, but I'm going to trigger it from the command line with a utility. It's called actuated shell and it's a prototype. If I run this command, it's going to do an automated commit into the repository and create if it doesn't exist. And in about 28 seconds, that's usually how long this takes, we're going to be inside an SSH session. Now this is running on a hosted runner, but if you're using self-hosted runners or maybe actuated, you can also change this so that it's using your own compute instead of GitHub's. So that was 22 seconds and we're in the machine again. But you will see that I asked it to bring back port 8080 to my machine. And if I do a Docker run, Nginx, and we map this, let's say um, 8080 on our side to 80 in the Nginx container, very fast network on Azure. We can then go to localhost 8080, and we're going straight through to the runner, to the container that's inside of it. So. What now? Well, now again, just like before, if we tmux attach to this, 
and run exit that releases the machine um, and it's gone off of our page again if you want to try this out get in touch with me um, this is really for helping you to debug what's going wrong in your actions but at the same time as a side effect you can get a shell in the cloud if you need to test something like DNS whether that's propagated properly or if you think your server's down you can log into a shell and do a curl command or something like that